This ongoing beef between Eya Bojo and Very Dark Man has attracted Kevin Kuti. Guys, we know Kevin Kuti. He lives for himself and he says it as it is. Kevin Kuti is not the kind of person to shy away from politics or anything. Whatever it is that is on his mind, Kevin Kuti will be sure to say it. So, this ongoing beef between Very Dark Man, Eya Bojo, and Polo has caught the attention of Shein Kuti and Shein Kuti is not resting. Shein Kuti is not keeping quiet. Let's take a listen and hear what Shein Kuti has to say to Eya Bojo. But before we do that, I want you to watch this video of Eya Bojo calling out Shein Kuti and Very Dark Man. When we come back, I will share my opinion and also watch the response Shein Kuti had to give to Eya Bojo. I need someone to help me call Shein Kuti because he needs to come and listen to this video. Shein Kuti. I have known you for a very long time. You may not know me, but I have known you. Because my father was a friend to your father. And I've known you for a very long time. Yes. Adekule Ogunu was a friend to your father, Shemukuti. And I want to respond to you. Now, when this issue all started, I'm responding to you because I saw the live video you did recently about um, Polo tagging you. You understand? I don't have any issue about him tagging you. But I have an issue with the way you, you mix your words mm, and deceive people with your words. And I'm going to take everything one by one. But I need you to listen to me, Shion. Listen very well to me. The last time that you came out to support Very Dark Man, that you made a video and you mentioned my name, I sent you a message. Remember, I sent you a message and I told you, I don't like this. I explained myself to you and I left it like that. So let me first start from very dark man. You all call him an activist, right? For those of you that call him an activist. Why would one activist want to pull down another activist? Deceive people, manipulate people, defame people, confuse people people just to prove a point we all came out to say okay we are fighting for justice for Mubad my fight for justice for Mubad was different the way the boy died the way he was buried the way he was bullied that was my own fight for justice wanted to make sure that all the people that bullied him were being brought forward. Wanted to make sure that they investigate him, find out the cause of his death. And that was why we pleaded the government to assume his body, to take whatever they wanted to take out, to check what was the cause of his death, so that they can start a proper investigation. And then was also to give him a befitting barrier, to bear him properly well. That was my own call, my own call for justice for Mubad. Now, in the course of doing this, obviously different people will have different opinions, different ideas, different views to the matter, which was okay. Your very dark man had a right to have his own opinion. But what was the insult all about? So a young boy that if I was to give bet on time will bet him will sit in front of his camera like I'm sitting so and be giving me instructions and then I will be following him because I don't understand. When we started this, if he felt the need that we were not doing things right. He could have come out. He would have gone to the police, sat down with them, 
and lay all his ideas on the table and then we will see okay the police listens to everybody at that time everybody could walk into the station and view their opinion or whatever it is why would you come on social media you are trying to say something and then you are indirectly or directly insulting the people that are doing all their best to try to get justice for this boy i will start the first video he ever did he said um i am not smart smart how would you feel when someone that is your child's range age because anybody under 20 something years old oh by the 29 oh by the 28 and our mommy 20 is no anymore will come and be telling you you are not smart if you look at the car you will see that these um, people then if you look at when you enter the house you will see that this people. now do you think that i will be pursuing a case and i will not have asked the police people what is going on who and who have been called who are who have gone for statement who and who has been arrested who and who are they investigated do you think the police are you think they don't know what they are doing you are not with us you are not going everywhere with us you are not doing anything with us so you don't even know what we are doing But when he said it, you know what? I took that same video and I sent it to the police people and said, please help me check this. Help me check this. Let me find out these boys again. Because I know they told me, sir, but they said, I said, please, sir. Which was a CP then. And I said, who is the AIG now? I said, please, sir, help me check again. Just for clarity's sake. And I responded. I said, well, I will see to it that they've reinvestigated them all again. Then you came up again, and then the next thing. Now, Shen, let me tell you something. Because the first time you did a video that you mentioned my name, you're supporting the very dark guy. You said uh, you believe where you grew up from is Yabis to Yabis. If this one Yabi, you Yab them, and that's the end. There's a difference, Shen between yabbing and defaming you have to understand these things don't don't let's confuse the audience there's a great day don't let us confuse people out there the youths the people that are watching us there's a great people need to understand there's a difference between yabbies and defaming if you come out and say ah yabo it's different though that's your insulting you come out and say ah, yeah, boy, we're in here. you are still insulting but when you come out and say ah, yeah, boy, you stole and I have confirmation that is defamation that is defamation you have to understand that the two is different You can't tell me that ah somebody yab you, you yab them, and that is it. No, if you yab me, I can let it slide because you yab me. But if you defame me, I will not let it slide because I have worked so hard for my name for you to come and want to defame me without first even doing your proper investigation. You say the two main actresses that on the front line fighting who are the two main actresses it was tonto and myself you said me tonto sam clef and the rest of us we are the group that we right now we have made 65 million who gave us the 65 million where was it donated to who collected it to who to where how that is not an insult shame kutsi that is a defamation that is a defamation that is a defamation 
you cannot come online and accuse me of collecting money for everything I did during Mobas case I spent my hard earned money for all the petitions I wrote over 20 something I, my lawyer is there I spent lawyers are not cheap they don't work for free I spent my hard earned money I flew back and forth Abuja I went back and forth police stations I spent my hard earned money seeking justice for that boy I didn't just sit on social media and rant I'm not one to want to fight for justice and sit on social media. Social media is for you guys to just follow up on the story to create awareness. But it's taking the, taking the right step, which is pursuing it with the law, evidence and everything, is what you use. You cannot come online, defame people without having proof or doing your proper investigation. She will put it, there is a difference between your this and defamation and you know it so stop twisting words stop twisting words you can come out and say oh they collected money oh they are doing it for clout oh they are doing even if you say they are doing it for clout all that one is still insult but you cannot come and defame my character And at the end of the day, what happened? Eh, uh, Mobad, they want to quickly rush and bury him. They have taken out everything they want to take out from his body to run an autopsy. Yeah? And they said, the government said, we've taken what we need, they should go and bury him. If they want to do a DNA test or anything, it is not the cops now that they are going to use is what they have taken out of him that they might use if they have to if they have to there was so much distractions when we were pursuing this case some people who had issues with me because I'm close to certain people started dragging me some people who because we had issues before started dragging me everybody started confusing the whole thing but he came out and he defamed my character and when you came out i sent you a message because i have a lot of respect and regard for you but i still saw another video you did after that i went and we reported him because he came out and he said to me two field addresses blah 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 and you see we all react differently Moshe Wai, I'm a very nice person but I have my tempers when I'm angry and I'm a Yoruba woman when a child that I can give birth to Eh? insults me I will send you back to your mother because theory yeah about me at you can never see my son come on social media to insult anybody's mother or father neither my daughter because I raised them well you can pass your message across without insulting anybody activism did not start today Activism, activism did not start today. It has been for a very long time. And we don't all have to believe the same thing or follow the same route. I will not say because I supported LP today. If I see that APC, they are doing something good, I would... I would applaud it that oh they did this one right that is that is for you to know that when you're fighting for the truth you fight for the truth i'm not going to say because 
I did not uh, support APC. So when they do things right, I will still say, oh, they are doing bad. No. That's you not being a true sayer. If you want to stand for the truth, stand for the truth. Guys, I believe you've heard everything. And imagine a stubborn Shehun Kuti, a stubborn Eyabojo, and a stubborn very dark man in a beef. Guys, Nigeria won't be able to contain these guys and uh, would they take it out of proportion we don't know but all i know is very dark man and getting arrested will always be in the news and the reason why it is is very dark man has made it his point of duty to ruffle some feathers and the feathers very dark man is ruffling is not just ordinary people very dark man has graduated from dealing with online vendors to now going to the real deal he's now politicizing his movement and a lot of people are he's getting audience because a lot of people are backing him if you can see shell kutin is but shell kuti is backing him and a lot of nigerians he's gained audience from lots of nigeria and for me i'm not a huge fan of very dark man because a lot of things he say don't go with my way of reasoning and sometimes when he said things, I have to take a step back and reason in another direction. But sometimes when he's saying something that my reasoning aligns with, I always say kudos to very dark man. Thank you for pointing it out. And the latest one that he did that I'm like, wow, good, is the fight between him and uh, this online vendor that took one million naira from somebody as Ashmushi. Yes, I know I, mean, I know you all of you remember the whole fight where very dark man called out Ashmushi for owing some some customer one million naira and refused to pay it. Guys, the response from Ashmushi will go down as the best response to every call out that very dark man has ever did. Ashmushi came out and asked the customer can't you leave one million naira for a fine girl like me guys that respond is whenever i remember that respond i always give myself a little bit of a laugh because wow so because you're a fine girl someone have to leave their hard end one million naira for you so that just make it make sense as a fine girl someone should leave their hard end one million naira for you but uh kudos to very dark man for calling her out and also kudos to her for returning the one million naira that she took from her customer and uh as i continue to go let's take a listen and hear what she has to say to a let me know down below in the comment section and use this opportunity like this video subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video As, which is where you are insidious dangerous now the same thing you do against Meramali to turn people against that never done on him when they bully the boy, and I know say they bully the boy, they send your picking going out that time to go visit. Say, Moba never make police report that time. Moba don't make police report. Everybody know, but everybody was still Naramali's friend. Nobody said because Moba make police report, so they bully him. Say they don't go talk to Naramali again. You go enable, you are there supporting. But at the end of the day, you pin something on him to destroy his career and his life. Because you people go, now we just pick what you want to pick to make somebody look the way I want to paint him. I told you. I say, sue him to court. Anybody, please go back to my video and watch that video. I say, you people can sue him for lie there. Sue his punk ass to death. If he had lies, that, if he had defamed you, if, you can sue him. That's enough. Sue him. We don't need to lock ourselves up with police. That was what I said. Power, this power show. And why would I put my mouth in such a matter? Now, when I make mobile death public political issue it was not a public political issue and once matter become that issue you cannot say and you are the forefront you cannot say people should not question you publicly you cannot say that you can't once you have become the public face of a public matter you open yourself to public scrutiny but this is what you people don't want you want to be public without scrutiny you don't want anybody to be able to say, ah, this thing, ah, oh, could you have a car Because I say, you're dao. Ah, eh, eh, too, wo, ah, ki, ah, oh, ah, who are by you? Ah, ah, this thing is bad, though. Ah, ah, you know, this, like, you people don't want, you just want everybody to be like, 
afraid, shocking, shaking, and then you go out. You know, they wonder why our politicians, that's why they love you because you help them to enforce that spirit in society. Very dark black man can insult anybody. I will say it anyway. He can insult anybody. He can insult your mother, insult your father. Come on. If you can't take it, then unfollow him, block it. Like so many things said about me on all these blogs. I unfollow them, I block them, I don't listen to any blog. I don't I close my ear. I shut my eye. The amount of insult people insult me, use my father to insult me every day. Your friend do, does it. Your little chihuahua dog. He does it all the time. I don't even answer him. I don't answer him. Party because I just say na normally go enjoy my uh, <laughs> because I have say na normally go enjoy my uh, charity for party. When I go party, I branch to see him. He no greasy me. They say the very say I just say go enjoy my charity. Everybody is an egomaniac. Everybody is an egomaniac. Everybody is too powerful. They can't take a joke. They can't take anything. And this somebody where I meet for London, where come meet me for club, greet me, where, so I know I'm, you know me, and that was not an insult. As I was saying it as I said, anybody can go inside jail. Anybody in this country, I swear, now innocent people fool jail pass. Go kiri kiri, everybody there is awaiting trial. So if you are waiting trial, it means you are presumed innocent. Until you are guilty, you must be presumed innocent. So people there inside kiri kiri, they are waiting trial. The majority of kiri kiri inmates, come and see Prison is full of innocent people or people presumed innocent. Anybody can go. And for your video, where I watch Anish, they say, You never put back for a matter. You go show the matter. Say, When you enter as oppressors, do I know mind? But power is transient. That one of the things I tell you when you talk after the team, because you don't tell anybody, say, You talk, you talk what you will discuss when we talk for phone, because the picture in the paint of me is so wrong. You, you you are lying basically you know calling me a confessionist what you they do in a way i you know you see my team of lawyers now i get if, if i want to i can go and start say oh you they defame my character you they call me i'm a fraud to the public i'm confusing them i'm trying to use them for my own gain all those kind of things but i know they this in a game of oppressing my colleagues with police which is the issue i had with you and tonto and all of now i said why are we doing this to ourselves power is so transient they choose between i know waiting till the i don't even know your house i don't know where paul lives i don't know who is waiting waiting to you till the even among my friends the way i don't know for years my day ones i swear they know i don't think they carry person because that person they talk say she will stop talking to that person for what purpose for what me when you will tell me that kind of thing, I will be we will, will type phrase, eh? she'll not talk to that guy again. I go be saying, you know what? I don't fight. You don't make a year all the things when you don't leak out for our squad. You know what make a year look at year all the things I be up I go friend the person where where <laughs> I will not go be the person best friend. So that all the juice <laughs> you shall be casted, all your juice shall roll to me. <laughs> I, I don't mean I, I don't get it. Today, what do I deserve? You say because I called you out that time. But it was a public so I, I, and when I called you out, I did not say you better you better choose, you better shut up or don't do anything. You better do this. I just don't say using police for ourselves is not good though. And I tell us why. Because it's a public issue. Everybody now is a user of police. Police is everybody's personal the rich the police job is the rich to protect the feelings of the they are I, I don't hear of they, they, life and property. They say they protect life and property. Police is there to protect life and property. But they don't add new one for Nigeria. Police is here to protect life, property, and the hurt feelings of the rich. Oh, don't hurt the feelings. Oh, the, the precious feelings. You know, the rich, the rich also cry. That's why my new album is called Heavier Yet, Lace the Crownless Head. Go and check the title of my album, the single not day, my first single, but the full album title today there. Heavier yet, lays the crownless head. Because I believe so we truly believe this heavy lays the head that wears the crown bullshit. We believe that bullshit too much. 
as in head lay heavy, not be on top of the best bed with the best pillow, inside the best house, eating the best food. How heavy your head won't lay, motherfucker? What if we cut your head off, Mr. King? How heavy will it be that time? If the crown is too heavy, motherfucker, drop it. If the crown is too heavy, fucking drop it. Telling me heavy, heavy lays the head that wears the crown. Fucking nonsense talk. So I appeal for your video as you lady where well, well. I don't tell very that. I'm still yet to know who was at fault in this whole beef. Yeah, but you claimed very dark man called her a failed actress. And I also claimed that she was using the Mubad uh, saga to chase clout. Then, very dark man claims Eya Bojo called her mother a failure. Now, guys, let me know down below between these two stubborn people, who do you think caused this whole fight? Let me know what you think down below. And also, do you think that this ongoing beef between Eya Bojo and Very Dark Man will be stopping any day from now? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.